we're adopting an enhanced vaccine certificate. It's almost like instead of moving forward, we're moving back in time and it's almost like segregation all over again. It is dividing people. It's breaking apart even families and friends because everyone is becoming separated over a vaccine. More people have to get involved. They have to. They can't just sit down. So they keep pushing the number of people that has to get vaccinated higher and higher. They, they want to get it to 100 percent. If they get it to 100 percent, then, then we're then we're the trap is closed. I don't know why I bring all these papers. I never look at them. I just say whatever they write down for me. <laughs> I'm on the verge of losing my job, but I will fight to the end of this. But I feel so sorry for those kids. I cry almost every day for those kids. My heart goes to them. Even if it's one against a hundred, I'll still be that one who stands up. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. David Menzies for Rebel News here in downtown Toronto. Well, folks, just an hour ago, Premier Doug Ford did another one of his classic flip-flops. He announced that, yes, indeed. We're adopting an enhanced vaccine certificate. Sorry for that interruption, folks, but hey, don't blame me. Blame the Silicon Valley tech giants. You see, we can't broadcast what we covered here in downtown Toronto regarding the vaccinations. YouTube doesn't like that. They'd get triggered, and when they get triggered, that means they give us a strike, and eventually we're deplatformed. So please, if you can, go to the true free speech portals out there. I'm talking Rumble, I'm talking Odyssey, I'm talking SuperU, and of course, rebelnews.com.